I also proposed an immediate ceasefire. One year ago, in the last Shangri-La dialogue that I attended, I also proposed an immediate ceasefire, a cessation of hostilities in place in the Ukrainian situation. Since that time, many thousands more lives have been lost on both sides, including many, many innocent civilians. After one year, I'm still convinced that my proposal remains logical, relevant, and necessary. Necessary as an intermediate solution to this difficult, dangerous, one might even say potentially disastrous situation in the Ukraine. Yes, Indonesia is far from the region, but we view with deep sadness the humanitarian suffering, the geopolitical and economic ramifications that has impacted the whole world, and yes, has impacted our own region. And of course, let us, as citizens of this world, citizens of this smaller planet, never lose sight of the dangers of, of escalation, the dangers of miscalculation, the danger of not understanding your adversary, of underestimating his legitimate interest. We must always be aware of the danger of escalation and the nightmare of nuclear war. Once again, I would like to reiterate my call for both sides to rise to the challenge of seeking a peaceful compromise in Ukraine for the sake of the people of Ukraine, the people of Russia, the people of Europe, and the people of the whole world. Saya Friska Clarissa, saksikan program-program Kompas TV melalui siaran digital, pay TV, dan media streaming lainnya. Kompas TV, independen, terpercaya.